bottle oh, shopper that you can get. And I tell everybody I keep these on to the very last second because they are very sharp. Got a guard on it. There we go. Very sharp, so I just tell everybody be very careful with those. So this is the small chopper, and I'm gonna chop my garlic in there. And this lid fits on it. This is a, a pull string. Well, you just have a guard. <laughs> and take the guard off of it, stick that in there, and I'm going to make salsa. And went ahead and, and took this off, but this is our can opener. If you have arthritis, they swear by this. It is the easiest mm -hmm. turn that you can see. So you open it up, latch it on, close it, you turn it, and it pops off where it doesn't have a sharp, it doesn't cut like your normal can openers. So this is what you need to, I like to know if you're this yes. house. To get the top off sometimes you have to do there's a little thing right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and it'll pull it up. Open this up and do this I like to, I did not know it opened up <laughs> Yes, while. yes. Now, I have to show everybody it does mm -hmm. that's the it took me for a while yeah. but it does open up. So I'm gonna pour in um whole can of tomatoes and then gonna show y'all our knives. I don't know if you have, this is our knife set. You can get two of these right now for $32. I've never sharpened this and you can see how sharp it is. Uh, That's what I used to. Love our knives. My brother was at my house the other day and he used them. He goes, where did you get those knives? Those are sharp. I was like, Tupperware. I was like, I know somebody. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I do. Um, so, I'm just gonna kinda Put a little thin there. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. He said, This is, you can make anything with these seeds out. Um, guacamole, is, this chopper actually comes with a paddle. So a lot of people make smoothies with this. They do all kinds of stuff. This lid actually has a vent right there. And you can put your funnel for oil if you want to drag your little oil while you're chopping. Um, and so, let's see, what else? I'm going to do an onion. And I'm not going to do it real spicy just because I don't like a lot of spice. So I'm not going to, it called for cilantro. I'm not going to do cilantro there. Not cilantro. Um, I don't know cilantro. Um, I cut the seeds out of the jalapenos. Um, or little as you want any of this. And there's so many recipes if anybody's interested in this. Right now, this chopper um, is, if you purchase $100, this chopper is $25. Regularly, this chopper is $87. So, um, it's a good deal right now if, you want, if you're interested in purchasing it. Put a little garlic in there. Put that one in. We're going to put a lid on there. Can you feel like you're on that TV thing? <laughs> <laughs> I remember what I did for a little bit. Yeah, sure. I was on the news all the time. I tell people what on the most wanted list. <laughs> Alright, so. I'm going to pull it 
You pull it. Come on. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. And then this is our chip and dip bowls, and it's got a little hook. See the hook on the side of it? It just puts into your bowl. There you go. And now you got chips and salsa. <laughs> so this is just a sample of what we sell. Um, this is by no means at all what we sell. Obviously, there's catalogs. There's May catalogs if y'all are interested in looking at May. They, they still have those. And then the out there and the, um, the, the tumblers, the 12 ounce tumblers that have the lids on it. My mom had sent me home with one the other day. It's got to be at least four years old because it's older than me with some milk. I don't have milk in my house and I needed some milk. So she put it in that little tumbler. She goes, I said, where did you get that? She goes, that's Tumblr. I was like, oh, Lord. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, we've got a lot of uh, specials going on right now. In your catalog, I stuck the April flyer with the brochures of the specials this month. And then if you're interested in hosting a party or anything, uh, the May catalog's over there with the specials with it too. So, all right, y'all go fix your plate. So, the Safe Haven buy set, along with a few other goodies. So the first, the first item on the Safe Haven five set, sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. Um, <laughs> I don't like being in front of cameras, that's why I'm getting a little bit Okay, so um, this is the Enviro Claw. So this actually starts with an E, so you can think of it as E for everything. You can clean everything in your home with it. Um, surfaces, doorknobs, um, <clears throat> light switches, anything that you actually are trying to, you know, clean and disinfect. This is um, the, the first thing. This is actually our first, our staple of Norwex. So this is microfiber. Well, I wanted to tell you a little bit about microfiber first. So if you go to the, the store, Walmart, or, um, <clears throat> you know, anywhere you get microfiber cloths. In order for it to be microfiber, it has to be one-sixth the size of a human hair. So you take one hair, a gray one preferably, and split it <laughs> six times, that is what's considered microfiber, and that's what Walmart and Dollar General and all those places actually can um, can um, sell. So <clears throat> what Norwex does, it actually goes a little bit further. They take that hair and they split it 200 times. So it's one 200th the size of a human hair, which that means it actually like is dense, a lot denser, a lot tiny, a lot smaller. And so it's actually able to pick up the dirt and the grime and the bacteria. And it's, and it's able to pick up 99% of the bacteria. So um, <clears throat> that's why you can use it on everything and it, it cleans and disinfects with just water. So you get it wet. I actually got it wet before the party. And you just go to town. Well, whenever you get ready to use it, you say, we say fold it like this and then again. So it gives you eight sides to clean with. So that way you're not going back to the sink a hundred times trying to clean, you know, you can get pretty much your own house clean with just this um, without having to go back to the sink. So what we do is you wanna um, run it under the water when you get done cleaning. 
And that warm water actually expands and it swells the, the fibers. And so it releases all the bacteria and the dirt and everything that was actually picked up um, off of your surfaces. And then it goes down the drain and you're done. So once you get done with that, you squeeze it out and hang it up by this little tag right here. <clears throat> backlock is actually in these fibers. So what um, backlock is, is it's an antibacterial agent, basically. And it's actually silver. It's actually liquid silver embedded in every inch of, this of these fibers. And of course, obviously, but a lot of y'all know that um, silver was used in the day, like with a silver spoon when somebody was sick. The medical professionals actually um, still use silver. I take silver every day right now, you know. So it's, you know, it's an antibacterial agent. And so whenever this cloth gets wet and you get done rinsing it out, it actually self purifies itself within 24 hours. So that silver actually inhibits the bacteria growth and it actually um, allows the, like the smells that you would get in like your kitchen cloths and stuff, mm -hmm. it, um, it keeps that from happening. And so you can actually use this like multiple times. I know people that have actually called me three months later and said, how do I wash this? I'm like, you haven't washed it yet? <laughs> you gotta wash it. You know, but like you realize the time goes by so much faster, or quicker, because it's not, it, it don't have that smell to it. So, um, so that, and you're not, you're saving money because you're not having to buy cleaners, paper towels, and, and everything else like that. So, and what is that called? Enviro cloth. So what I want to show you real quick is a chicken demo. And I was telling Judy about this, and I wish I could have showed her that, but she thought I was giving people shots. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no, no. Man, I think she left. I would have. It's actually we watched the video. We would have held her arm and acted like we were going to give her a shot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I have here is raw chicken. That's gross, right? Yeah. So you're going to touch it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take my raw chicken and I'm going to rub it. Very gross. Gross. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, y'all can see the chicken yeah. juice. Okay. I actually ate. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> That's kind of the the rescue. Okay, so I'm going to take my fryer cloth and I'm just going to turn it. You didn't really put that on layer. Okay, she did though. Yeah, she did. Yes, she did. Yeah, I don't want to see it. Okay, I'm going to turn it so you can see the tag. I'm going to use the side with the tag on it so you can see it. I'm going to fold it. Okay, so I'm going to clean where I just put all that yummy chicken juice. <laughs> now, I'm going to put the side that I used to clean up facing the ceiling because I'm going to test it in just a second. So now I have this protein stick. Well, this protein stick is actually checking for protein. They don't have bacteria um, prep swabs, but these swabs are actually used in the medical field and the restaurants. They swab three different places and their restaurants, I think it's like the refrigerator door, the sink nah, or the sink handle, and then the cutting surfaces. And if all, the, all three of those places are actually, um, has no protein, then they pass their test. And if actually, and this is actually not a Norwex product, this is a Hygiena, Hygiena product. <coughs> Excuse me. So it says right here, if there's no protein present, then it's green. Gray, pink, or purple actually has, um, it'll have protein present in it. So, it'll be green, and those three mean there's gonna be protein. So what I'm going to do is test where I just swabbed all that chicken and then I cleaned it off with the Norwex and Maricol. So I'll swab it all really good. Stick it down in there and that solution is actually going to test it to make sure now that you can see that it's green. You all see that? Mm -hmm. It's green. Okay. So now the cloth that I used I'm gonna test that too. All over that, because you know that chicken juice got a hole in it. Shake it up, and it's still staying green. Okay, so you're going, I don't know anything about that. I don't understand that old swab, so that's okay. I'm gonna take a little bit there. I'm gonna take the swab. 
Touch all over that chicken. <laughs> Play it with the mark and you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> uh-huh. So that's a that's a great demo that I love to do. It's a it's a visual for me, you know, if you're like me. And then of course the silver in the claw, it it stops that bacteria growth. So that's why I didn't show that it was in the claw. So Okay, so that is the environment. I also wanted to explain to you that this is actually 10 million feet worth of fibers. So if Mama took one end of it, went to Canada, and I took the other end of it, went to the Gulf of Mexico, it would stretch that far. That's how. That's the number one reason why Norwex is like separated from everything else. It's because they, you know, it's so dense. It's more dense than any other regular kind of fiber. Excuse me. So also, um, Norwex clean or not Norwex? Sorry. There's three ways to clean. The first way is to steam clean. So if you actually, you know, take a steamer for however heat resist or heat however high it needs to be, however long it needs to be on the surface, it'll actually remove the bacteria. The second way to clean is uh, this way. How many of us are familiar with this? How many of us read the directions before we actually use these wipes? This is what I was using when I was five, when I was pregnant. Oh, there's directions. <laughs> That's exactly what I did before I actually, you know, um, when I was using it when I was pregnant with a five-year-old. I was just taking the wipe, I couldn't, hey, Jim. I'm not. So, it actually says on here, first off it says on here, hazardous to human and domestic animals. So that's us, ourselves and our animals. So we're putting this in our homes, and we're actually, you know, putting this chemical yeah. that's unsafe for our family. And then also, in order to disinfect, this particular one actually says to wipe the surface and um, it needs to remain visibly wet for four minutes for it to actually disinfect. Then you have to have a wet wipe. I mean, a, a wet wa- a wash, like a wet wash, and wash um, those surfaces that come in contact with food and uh, like anything, that, any kind of food. So your surfaces, high chairs, anything like that. You have to do a wet, wa- a wet wash after you've used. <coughs> excuse me. After you've used these wipes. So how many of us do that? I know I did. You know. So this is. The chemical and it also it keeps the uh, I mean it, the chemical residue is you know it's still there you know so we think we've cleaned and then we've actually kept the um, chemical residue on our surface. So now Norwex, the third way to clean is the way Norwex cleans. Clean it cleans mechanically. So I mean if you if you think about it, you go outside and you. Know, you kill your weeds and then you go and you remove them and throw them in the garbage. That's how Norwex cleans. It's, it's removing the bacteria and get rid of it, getting rid of it um, instead of just pushing it around and um, leaving it on your surface. So, and it's not obviously leaving it chemical residue. <laughs> so now, the second thing on the Safe Haven Vibe is the window call. So this is our window call. This is the best friend to the Enviro call. It works on like uh, windows, and if you have a window, you can actually clean if you want to. Um, <laughs> any shiny, any shiny surfaces, anything that that is shiny. You know, this is what it's this is what you use, and it actually has. I mean, you, we use the environment cloth wet, and you use the window cloth dry. So you go behind it after you clean your window, and it leaves a streak-free, beautiful color. Or color, but you know, it's clear. <laughs> yeah. um, so. And then it, it has back clock technology in it as well. So whenever, once you get done with it, you can hang it up to dry. Because um, it'll be a little bit wet, but you know you can also rinse it out if you feel better, and then hang it up to dry, and it'll um, self-purify itself. But you use the heat cloth first. Correct. Uh huh. You clean with this, and then go behind it and dry with the window cloth, and then it um, <clears throat> and it like really leaves a, a nice straight free. And you can uh, use that window cloth on like TV screens where you don't want yeah. wet. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't want to use an our cloth on TV screens. Just that. We do have like a, um, a metal cloth specifically for, what would that be called? Like TV and cell phone screen. Um, like non, yeah. well, okay. not like, um, oh. Don't worry about it. They know yeah. what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> Stay. I'll think Stay. about it and it'll come to you. Okay, so I have this. 
um, whiteboard, and I'm just gonna. If you put that dirty chicken on. <laughs> it's clean. It's clean. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Injected too to make sure it's clean. It's Earth Day, so I'm trying to. And then also like the chemical cleaners, the window cleaners and stuff that you're using, you're spraying your wiping, you're spraying your wiping, and how many paper towels have you used, and then you're breathing in all those chemicals from that one, like Windex and, you know, those kind of cleaners. Okay, so I'm going to clean the window, I mean the, well, the mirror, I mean you can, can you kind of see where it's wet? Step a little closer. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, I mean, you can still see the streaks. Are you showing the streaks? Okay. Yeah, showing the streaks. Show Miss Ann over there. Okay. Yeah. See the streaks. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I'm going to go behind it with the window cloth and dry it. There's a little dot there, but I think it's broke because somebody broke it. <laughs> she got three girls. <laughs> you see, talk about your. How it's all <laughs> shiny and, you know. So you're not using those chemical cleaners, breathing them in, and using all those paper towels. So. Okay, so that is the window cloth. And um, where is it? Oh, right here. Okay, so the third item on the Safe Haven 5 is the dust mitt. So this dust mitt, it, it's kind of like mechanical cleaning. It actually removes the, the, the dust. So a lot of Swiffers and stuff that you use, it just pushes it around when you feel like you just dusted two days ago. And so this is actually, it's real fluffy. And so it picks it up. And then once you get done dusting, well, first off, you'll actually, um, you'll rub your hand really good like that. It has to, it, it works with static electricity. So you rub it really good and then you just go to town. You don't, you know, have the duster, cleaner, or whatever the plague. Windex, plague, yeah. yeah. Um, and also things like that, like pledge, like chemical or, um, liquid polishers and stuff like that, it leaves a chemical residue which actually attracts dust. Mm -hmm. So once you push it around, it comes back down to the surface a lot sooner. So whenever you're using the dust mitt, the normal dust mitt, you'll feel like you haven't dusted it in a while and you don't have to, you know. So once you get done going around and dusting, you actually use a rubber brush and you actually, we actually recommend going outside and dusting it off with a rubber brush. Now, um, the reason why we recommend that is because if you think about it and you're dusting it off into your garbage can, it's going to go back into the, yeah, into the, um, there. Because yeah, even when I go outside, it. I go, don't you go back inside. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I mean, and it goes back into the air, it goes back, so it recirculates, and then it comes back on your surfaces again. So, um, go outside, dust it off, and you'll actually get rid of it. Now, um, this is a great buddy if you're a beach goer. You can... Take it to the beach, get ready to go back in your condo, and you got sand all over your legs, wipe it off. The sand is not sticking in this, and it gets all the sand off your legs and your feet. So, what's well, that I'm going next week? Mm -hmm. well, I the dust mitt. Take my dust mitt with you? Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Y'all, I, I swear by that dust mitt. My husband <laughs> didn't believe me after I ordered it. He goes, There ain't no way. I said, Here, go ahead. He dusted the whole living room in five minutes, and he goes, Order another one then. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I told you it works. Yeah. I know people have too, and they just. All these products you'll find yourself getting done a lot sooner, a lot quicker. It's actually, you know, can you attest how long you took for you to dust or whatever it was you were doing the other day? The other day, I cleaned my windows and my blinds, pulled all the furniture out of that room in there, vacuumed and cleaned my baseboards, pushed all the furniture back, vacuumed and mopped, and I didn't pull out. Of course, it's got the legs, so it's okay, but the buffet thing. Um, and what did I say? An hour and five minutes. Mm -hmm. Even, I mean, without even lots of thoughts about it, you'll find yourself sitting on the couch watching the movie quicker than you, you know, yeah. over it. So, um, these are great for the blinds. I don't know if you've used, um, 
And then I'll the, tell you what's great for the blonde. Oh, oh, yeah. This thing? The wand? The stuff that does wand. Oh, yeah. If it wasn't for the wand, I wouldn't have been able to get that done. But that wand just goes right down those blinds. Mm -hmm. And those blinds. My blinds. Yeah, yeah, just use it as it is. Just brush it on there. You just do it. And I was able to get all of those windows, back windows. And I took it outside with the brush and brushed it all off. Yeah. Do you have to create electricity? No, I did. Uh, I just run my finger. I don't know if I had to. Yeah, because that one has little fingers, you know. Mm -hmm. so this, you know it, was, it was awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 It was awesome. Mm -hmm. And then, it, then I, that's what I used to go play my baseball. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't look at the baseboard too hard, though, because I hadn't finished them. <laughs> <laughs> don't show your flaws. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I can't do the light. Mama, do you have grass in them? I have what? Well, I'll do it on here. It's fine. Um, I got some grass in them. Oh, um, the, the, the screens, your window screens, you know, you can wet this just a little bit. You can actually use this wet or dry, but you can wet it a little bit. And wipe your screen, screens, screens, screens down, and you don't, you're not having to take it off, take it outside, or take it to your tub. You know, trying to rinse it off. We use this wet with your window screens, and it gets it really well. Did you not know that? I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not going to take them off on the inside. I'll take them off on the outside. Uh oh. Well. Mine come off on the inside. That's weird. They got the windows on. Uh, Modular home, so that may be the correct one. Okay, um, I, I, I got onion powder out of your cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that's cool. That's probably like. Okay, so I was just going to kind of demo the dust mitt, picking it up instead of putting it on. Yeah, so I'm going to. Let's see how it is. Just pick it right up. And then I'll take it off on right here. You just use a rubber brush and brush it off into the garbage can. Well, outside. I don't know if onion powder would be good outside though. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. Yeah, I'm going to interrupt you real quick. Okay, so here's the cake. Good. Oh, you got what the ranch show us all. I got to see that smell. Mm -hmm. So it's cake mix, two eggs, and a can of Coke. Wow. I mean, yeah. that's good, but we yes. need to know need how to taste. Stick it in the microwave for eight minutes. Huh? I'm just going to dump it out. For <laughs> and it just dumps out without you having to break into the edges. No, this is all um, nonstick, so you don't do that. But I put the icing around it, then I dump the cake mix inside of it. So when I dump it out, the icing will be on top. I got it. You can take one of my gluten pills. Gluten -free, um, cake mix. Mm -hmm. yeah. Betty Crocker never making gluten free cake mix. Oh, yeah, <clears throat> and you just spread the icing on the bottom? And then mix the cake mix. Two. Yeah, mix all that together and then pour it in there. And you can do a coat, diet coat, whatever. I don't know. Diet coat. I'm making a diet cake. <laughs> making a diet coat cake. <laughs> making a little healthier. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the fourth item on the safe haven five set is actually the cleaning product. Mm -hmm. paste. So this is elbow grease in a jar. Mm -hmm. So you can get this at the store. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, as a matter of fact, when I first started having my first one, I was cringing at the fact that I know these kids are going to be right along my wall, and I don't know how I'm going to get it off. Well, well, now that I got introduced to this, my oldest will come in and say, oh, someone's going to need that. Okay, that's fine. I'll go get this and get it off. So, um, it takes, you know, markers off the wall, the, the white. You unit real quick? Okay, On what? Don't tell What'd you do? I dropped the cone. <laughs> Drop the I got cones and go to the center. Oh, she gets an e cloth. I got one. Yes. She uh, got one. Oh, that's what. <laughs> I thought she meant the page. She got all the table. 
<laughs> hey, if you claim one leg, you gotta claim the other one. <laughs> so they'll match. Yeah. Okay, so the Norwich claim that up real quick. I'll help. Appreciate it. Exactly. Um, and that's what I say too. Like we have countercloths over here, so it feels like that. It's so easy to clean it up like that. You said you say? Yeah. The comb. Oh, look. Yeah. How pretty. The comb fell out and icing went all over the floor. But now. <laughs> cool. Well, y'all see this? Oh, this is just a poor Norway. Oh, it's right. Tricky Norway. When y'all finish, y'all can cut you a piece. Hey, that's the good thing about Tupperware and Norway is they last. You know, they're sustainable. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Okay. So this, like the rims on your shoes, um, like I said, marker, anything on your couch, pretty much elbow grease in the dark. I mean, anything that you need elbow grease with, it works. So it's at, in, the ingredients are marble flowers, and when they cut the marble, they use the, the powder that comes off whenever they're cutting it, they use that, they use um, natural soaps and then coconut oil to make this. And when you open it up, it is like rock. So it's not like creamy, but it's rock. So, I just broke it. <laughs> Good job, Dan. Right? Um, but this last, I actually have another jar of it that I mean I've been using this for about two years now with demos and cleaning and stuff and you can kind of see there's a little bit of a dent so it lasts forever or a while a long time ma'am a long time a long time and um so you're not having to like all the other cleaners purchase every couple months um okay so what I'm gonna do now with my mirror finally is try to draw an earth again. So this is a Sharpie. So it's permanent marker. She never took art class. No, I didn't. <laughs> and again, it looks like a softball. So <laughs> an earth. Her daughter's face gets softball. Mm -hmm. yeah. Picture. Um, so, I don't know, I guess that's why I keep writing, doing that. It's like in my brain. Mm -hmm. um, so, which, I don't think I have any teachers in here. Weren't you a teacher one time? No. Oh, um, Sunday yeah. school. Yeah. Oh, you're a teacher. Oh, okay. Um, great. Yeah. This is English, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's probably judging you right now. I'm <laughs> sorry. I didn't do good in speech either. <laughs> I took speech online, so that's okay. I'm How did you take speech yeah. online? <laughs> Same way I did. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean no wonder about you. One time. <laughs> Of course, then I was in this other program. We had to give a speech every class. So <laughs> at the end of every class. So, yeah. it's like, so you'll love this because I'm sure you have plenty of markers. And marker I drawings. used to teach. But yes, I, I still have one. <laughs> well, I'm, sure, I'm sure all of us know plenty of teachers. Have, I also have a jar of that little stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you know. You can attest. I'm going to attest. I'm going to tell you. Okay. So uh, I came off really good with environmental. That was wet. Hang on. You know what? Can y'all tell she's passionate with this stuff? <laughs> and the thing is, she uses everything that's on those people. She believes in it. I really do. That's, good that's why I tell people I'm a sheriff person, not a salesperson. Yeah, okay. Because, I mean, you know, we can, you know, we can actually fix and, and help our four walls that we're in. I mean, unfortunately, we can't help the fact that when we go to Walmart or Kroger or anything like that, our schools, you know, we don't know what they're using, but we can actually, you know, create a safe haven in our own home, you know, so. Okay, let me try that again. All right, so now it fades a little bit, as y'all can see. I mean, it'll eventually come off with the Enviropol, but it's taken me elbow grease. Elbow grease. <laughs> So now, I do have, in Sunday school, I do have kids using real markers on whiteboards. Oh, and that does not come out. So mm -hmm. this is good. Yeah. And it don't take much. I just swiped a little bit. Got a little bit on my cloth. On the Enviropol. On the Enviropol. Dry. Wet. Dry. Wet. wet. Oh, it is. Your cloth is wet. Your cloth is wet. Or it turn them off. I'm just mm -hmm. saying, a bunch of whiteboards. Yeah, I actually, when she gave my youngest daughter for Christmas, one of those whiteboards, like whiteboard on one side and then um, whiteboard on the other. 
And my middle what? child took a Does it get the marker off the chalkboard? I have kids that are not used to chalkboards anymore because they have whiteboards and stuff, so they can use a marker. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm sure it will. I haven't tried it. But, it, I mean, like, literally, my middle child sat there. The whole thing oh, was covered. Mm -hmm. But I got it all. You missed my lady. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now, She's so sweet. I know <laughs> So yeah, this is great, like I said, for the rims of your tennis shoes. Um, depending on your lights on your car, you could use it on that. Um, it, the thing about it, that is depending on your, the, it's either glass or plexiglass or something, it could scratch it. Um, any other kind of surface you want to use this on, we do say use it on, you know, an inconspicuous area just to make sure it doesn't. I do my stove top with it. Too. Yes. Really. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. This. I have a glass stove top. And our Spiri sponge, I always have to think about that name, Spiri <laughs> sponge, is great for the inside of your stove. Mm -hmm. So when you oh, have oh. several clamps, it's good. Yeah, sometimes you probably have that burnt. I mean, does it get the burnt yep. stuff? Mine, mm -hmm. My stove yeah. does. Yeah. My oven does, right? Yeah. It don't get the burnt off the stove, it gets burnt off the oven, though. Okay, so it's the fifth item on the safe haven five, the last item, is the laundry detergent. So the laundry detergent is free of everything. Um, it has a list on the bag. This is actually the bag that you would get if you were to purchase a bag. Um, excuse me, it's biodegradable. It's no phosphates, no sulfates, no chlorine and bleach, no fillers, no optical brighteners, no animal testing, and there's no dye and fragrances. So, I mean, it's free of everything completely. So it is actually, I meant to bring a little scoop. The scoop comes with it. The instructions on the back, we say do not go by those instructions because these are based off of Canadian, of the Canadian water. And of course we, I think they have harder water, I believe. Or maybe vice versa, I can't remember. So the scoop that's in it, we say use a third of that scoop. The scoop's about that tall. Do you have a scoop? Mm -hmm. Okay, I was gonna say maybe if you wanna grab it, if you wanted to. Um, just to kind of give them an idea of what a third would look like. It's like about a tablespoon, um, a, te a half a teaspoon to a tablespoon, um, depending on what the load. But a full, heavy, or large load would be about a third of a cup, or a third of the scoop. Either. So it lasts a long time. You can get about 250 loads in an HE um, washing machine. We have also two other options. We have liquid. Yeah, here's the um, scoop. Yeah, scoop. So it's already a small scoop, and for a large load, you just have to use a third of that. I wish I would have done pictures, but obviously, I said with Taylor being in softball, I just recently, I mean, some of you that follow me on Facebook seen pictures where I, I mean, it's completely full of dirt, and then I soaked it. in the sand, too. Yeah, and I soaked, it took maybe about twice with just this, and they were completely white. Yeah, so, um, so this is how you would actually wash your microfiber also. We have microfiber cleaner um, that you could, if you don't want to purchase this um, if today or any other time, and you want to get something to actually clean it with, we have microfiber cleaner as well. And we also have, I do have this here with me today. Like I said, we have a liquid option. These are strips and they come like it's two strip perforated. So like if you're, you know, you go and you, um, a beach or traveler is what I'm trying to think of. Um, these are perfect because they can slide in your bag and you take it with you and you can wash your, um, clothes there. You know, a lot of times condos and stuff have washing machines and stuff and they leave, um, detergents and stuff that you can use but normally it's detergent by taking one of these instead of having a log to go back. So, um, then, where is my... Right one, okay. No, that's not it. It is this one. This is it. This is it. It's the microfiber cleaner, I don't know what I was thinking. So basically this is, um, the detergent is like an everyday use, everyday teeth, especially everyday teeth cleaning. The microfiber cleaner is basically the trip to the dentist. A trip to the dentist. So what you want to do is actually like soak this. If you get both of them, you soak about 30 minutes in warm water your floss, and then you can throw them in the washer to um, 
wash the rest of the way. You know, they get dingy. I mean, like, you know, really gross and stuff. But, I mean, you know, it's just a deeper clean, basically, for your fiber. So, um, now that is the same painting five. If you want to remember what those are, it's the environment call, the window call. What did I do with the dust? That was in here. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> dust mitt, the paste, and then this. So, Norwex likes to package things up to help save money. So the package, the packages are towards the back of the book and it helps you save money on the products that you want. Um, you know, if you want to start off with a smaller package than this or a bigger package too. So um, I wanted to point that out to you. Now, uh, one of the, I wish mom was in here. The mop, you will never want to buy a mop again after you purchase this mop. So this is the dry mop pad, and it velcros onto the mop um, base. Excuse me. So this is yellow, so it actually is like for the sun, um, the sunshine. I mean, you can think of it like that. But every tab on our stuff will tell you what it's for, and it says floor dry. So you know you pretty much dust your floors with this. the The handle is telescopic, so I mean you can be as short like Maddie if you wanna. And my kids love to, to mop. Or you can be like really tall. So it goes, and you want to, in order to have a measure, you want to kind of put it right here at your nose level. So if you have a husband that's really tall, he can mop for you. <laughs> um, so we say when you put it on the Velcro, to leave a little space like that. So when you come up to the baseboard, you can make it lift up like that and it'll dust your baseboard at the same time. So whenever you're dusting or <coughs> dry mopping, so you want to go around and just go in a figure eight motion like this. Oops, sorry. So if you think about it, I mean, you see how fast this is going? I'm actually gonna try to get that figure right there. And it didn't work, but it's okay. We'll come back to it. It's so light. Yeah, and it's yeah. feathery, mm -hmm. so. So I mean, you just go in figure eight motions and dust your floor, see how fast that is? You're dusting, and then of course, anything that's obviously like bigger, like, you know, if you're like me, you have Cheerios because of kids, or if you have, you know, any kind of droppings on the floor, cat food, it just goes in the front, and take your call and then just wipe that stuff up, and you're done. So, it stays in the miracle. You might miss an earring. <laughs> okay. And then once you get done, I'm going to throw it from the base. All right, well, this is another way you would use your, the, I'm going to put this back over here so you can see. The rubber brush, you dust it off outside, just like you would do your dust mitt. These are $16.99, but there's ways you can get it for free by hosting a party, um, or or you can purchase out, purchase it outright, or becoming a consultant, because that actually comes in the consultant kit. So once you get done dusting, this is the wet mop pad, so it's blue, so blue for water, so it helps you remember, but then again, the tags will tell you. And you just, well, either way, you can do it two days. You can wet it before you stick it onto the, the base, or you can take a, like a, one of these or one of these. We actually, those are forever spray bottles, it's glass. This is plastic. I like to use the glass because I like to put essential oils in it to make it smell good. You can either spray it with this, or spray it on the floor, or you can take it, the, the pad, and get it wet and wring it out. I like to just throw it on there. <laughs> Makes it quick and easy. And stick it on there, and then do your mop. So this is um, a way to be able to risk, um, get this for free too, is to host a party on offering. If you host a party and have a $750 order with one booking, then um, I'll the mop system for free. And that's the wet mop pad, the um, dry mop pad, the base, and then the hand mop. So that's all I got. Um, for, I have up here, like if you do, or you, if you're interested in hosting a party, I can do it online, Facebook, in home, anyway, any way you want to. Um, I have host rewards. But then for Earth Day today, if you order today, you get 10% off, $20 or more, or free shipping off of I, sorry. You said you were finished, right? Yeah, but I was going to say, I have a try-me station, so if you have sunglasses or glasses, 
feel free to go over there and use that. You just clean your um. You want to talk about the duster wand? And... Okay. Yeah, because we've been bragging on it. Yeah. So this is the dust wand. And it actually attaches to the mop. You unscrew it right here. And actually this is a, a brush right here. So you can like in your window seals and stuff, you use it to get like, the dust and ladybugs like I have and stuff like that out and just sweep it off. And then it'll attach, so I'll show you the really cool how it attaches to the mop handle. It has these little, you call it squeeze buttons or whatever, you take the base off. And squeeze buttons right here. And it can bend. I mean, you're, you're going to clean the fan. Yes. <laughs> That's why I was showing Ms. Ann if it's real high. It's yeah. been that cold. You don't have to worry about getting up on the ladder. You can just get up there and mm -hmm. Mama may not want me to be doing this. Yeah, Hers probably. is pretty clean. Look yeah. at you, Mom. <laughs> it's because I'm so impressed. Because I just used that little thing right there. Huh? It's because I just used that little thing right there. Like I said, if you got a pylon, extend that. Extend it. Really so if we book a party, you come to our house and clean. Sure. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just don't dust that week, and then when it's she comes, oh no, don't dust for a month. Yeah. So, I mean, it's completely drill wall. Or, you know, mm -hmm. you can use that for a month. Yeah. So, I mean, complete drill wall or ceilings. You know, and actually, let me also show you. We have, we do have like, if you have a camper or if you have a small bathroom, small rooms, these, these mop pads. And the small base hook can hook to your handle as well. This is a window pad. I think I think it's all size. <gasps> I forgot about my window pad. Did you order one? No, I don't have the small one. I got the big one. Oh, okay, you do have the big one. Um, so yeah, the window pad comes in the large and the small. I think it's three sizes. I think if there's even an extra large. I and saw that when I was looking in mm -hmm. the So you can attach this to your your handle. If you have real high windows, you know, you can um, use the wet mop to clean your windows and then go behind it with the, the window pad and clean your tall windows. So you can pretty much you can pretty much touch every bit of your home with any of these products. So feel free to look through here and oh, see what all but before they start looking, let me see your one. Just the one. So take this off? Uh-huh. That's what I was thinking. You can just move it with your hand nail. This is the blind trick. <laughs> of course, you know, this is your side that's always the dirtiest. <laughs> you open them all. That was it. That was all I did. And they, I mean, and they were. And she had to get it in inside there and do like uh -huh. yeah. to see those little yeah. fingers. Mm -hmm. They go yeah. up in between those. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was, I mean, the only reason I'm, I'm so is because I just did it this week. I was so amazed because mm -hmm. I thought this is really not going to get it in the little. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I mean, how did you clean that after you got that's through That's what I was about to show you. You can actually it slides right on off. You throw it in the washer. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I took mine after doing all these blinds. I took it outside and so I brushed it. Out. Yeah, because you don't have you know, any of these products. You don't have to laundry every time you use them. You know, you can use them multiple times before you actually have to wash them. So that's how it's sustainable and just like Tupperware. <laughs> well, I've just always hated cleaning blinds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. exactly. I mean, you have to do yeah. it. Yeah. 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 And then you've got the cords in there, so you're yeah. trying to get up in those mm -hmm. cords. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. So, does anybody have makeup on? Yes. Is anybody willing to take their makeup off? Oh, excuse me. Is anybody willing to take their makeup off with their body towel? You don't want to Oh, you take it off. 
Do you want me to go do it? Okay, Dylan. You take mine. 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 You take take mine. You 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 take and I'll let you take the mirror and do it. I'm not going to. First off, y'all get to give me a facial. <laughs> you don't, you don't want me to give you a facial. Give me a clean house, a facial. I don't want me to cook for you. We'll do a cookware for you, too. Okay, so pick which colors. Three colors. A solitary, a color, and then that. I'll let you pick which color. I guess it's with it. The whole thing? Now, warm, Jana. Huh? Warm. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> warm. Unless you like cold water on your face. <laughs> oh, now, is your bath mat Norwex? No, it's not. It looks like it. But now the hand towel is. I love that you, when, you, hand towel. Oh, I took it when you wash your hand. hand. Oh, you took it down. Never mind. These are hand towels. Oh. I mean, you know, you go to your wash your hands, you use soap, but if you don't have everything taken off with the soap and the water, mm -hmm. this has backlot technology in it, and it removes the bacteria and stuff off your hands. There's all, there's all kinds of colors of them, I think. These are the ones I have. There's like a little bee, and then a gray. I saw a uh, mermaid. And Christmas. All right, here's the war. Yeah, the kids. Yeah. We do. I mean, <clears throat> I don't have any of the kids' stuff. Jana probably had some. I could have told her to bring. Hey, sit. So, um, she's ready. Yeah, just wash. Sorry. Yeah. Do you want the mirror or? Oh. Um, okay. You don't have to use mm -hmm. I'm I'm soap free. You're safe. Um, I've been soap free for about a year and a half. I don't use soap. I don't stink. I don't hope I don't stink. I don't think I stink. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what we've been smelling. <laughs> exfoliates from one side and then it wipes off on the other so it's soft this is what I use but I mean you can look at it it doesn't stretch and I mean in my hand it's pretty tight so my poor husband couldn't even get his hand in there so I've actually submitted something with our um, our team to try and get a bigger one for me in. and then this is our back scratch or not back scratcher you know clean your back it's got the same stuff on it and then that so that. So just water for the back? Oh, I mean for the back. back. It feels good because it's scratches your back too. <laughs> yeah, just water. Nothing, no cleaning. Just water, no cleaning. Hmm. Okay. How are you liking it? You doing good? My own match real. <laughs> yeah. Here's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and I've actually done a demo where I've taken... You're watching it. I've taken the marker, the magic marker, mm -hmm. and put it on my face, cleaned it, and it came off. Oh, the kids will like that. Uh -huh. They like to draw on people. So, <laughs> and they like to draw themselves, too. <laughs> now, I will say this our um, detergent. But do you feel stuff. like you're clean? Yeah. Yeah. And you, do feel you feel clean. Mm -hmm. I mean, it almost has an exfoliating. See, I use that for my face. Not, I take my makeup off on at night with it, mm -hmm. and I wash it again in the morning in the shower, and then I use my, cloth, my mitt. Yeah. Um, what I was going to say is the detergent it has no fragrance. Um, we actually do have the liquid that it, I think it's like lavender or something. If you're one that, you know, your skin is the um, is the, the largest organ, you know, and so it takes 26 seconds for chemicals to actually be absorbed into your skin. So if you think about it, your clothes that you've washed in chemicals are touching you more than 26 seconds, I imagine. Mm -hmm. um, your sheets, your towels, everything like that. Um, if there's chemicals on it, you know, it, it's absorbed into your skin. So, but a lot of us are like, even you, I think you had that problem. Um, you wanted your clothes to smell good. Mm -hmm. You know, we're used to that. you got to think of it like this. Clean doesn't have a smell, you know. Mm -hmm. um, we have these fluff and tumble, tumble dryer balls. And when I, what, I think I talked her into this, but you take essential oils and drop some essential oils on it and put it in your dryer. And it, yeah, dang it. No, because I can't. <laughs> 
So, um, yeah, and you, yeah, so and it gives a little bit of a fresh smell if you're used to that, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's kind of like using natural deodorant, you kind of, we do have deodorant, but I don't have that right now yet. Um, but I had tried my clothes without it, without the ball, I mean, doing it as if I'm going to put the balls, but not put the ball. They were still, they were, they just didn't feel right. Mm -hmm. And when I put those back in there, the next lot, it was just totally. It reduces I don't know how your dryer. It, but yeah, no. it reduces your dryer time and also reduces the, the um, static. And if you're if you're one that uses dryer sheets and um, what's the other stuff, the little beads. Mm -hmm. uh, the down beads of the liquid. Yeah. Uh -huh. the yeah. Those are the biggest like um, chemical like induced stuff that I mean they have a whole like a long list including for my behalf for those two products so mm -hmm. use those you want to ditch them because they're not really healthy but um so that's why I was going to say about the dryer balls because that will help um do the same thing as dryer sheets and um mm -hmm. whatever it is downy. Uh -huh. yeah. I mean even downy in my wash I don't put downy in my wash mm -hmm. with them anymore I mean when I'm putting those in the dryer Kitchen towels are amazing. Did you use a kitchen towel in there? Mm -hmm. I mean, it dries off. Like, I don't, when I would wash my dishes, I would wash them and put them in the dryer, and then it'd be two days later, and then I go get, put, them, put them up because they're finally dry. When I finally started using that, I'm like, I love that they're drying because mm -hmm. they dry so easily. They absorb, they absorb seven <laughs> times the, the weight of it, of itself in water. So. I don't have a problem with clean dishes in the drain. You have a problem. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was going to mention a few things. I do have, I mean, this should go to dishes. I don't know. I would love to talk about every bit of it. <laughs> anyway. This is, I know with Daddy having his um, liver transplant, and he has to have his produce clean. So these are, um, why don't you, do you use this one? I use that one yeah. on my apples. Oh, okay. I use um, those on my apples, but then I use the, I love the liquid in the bulk, you know, putting it in the water yeah. because you just Fresh put your flavors. strawberries in there or my grapes in there mm -hmm. and just rub them around and then put them in my colander and rinse them off real good mm -hmm. and they're you healthy. You can produce from the store, just from like Kroger and stuff, you know. You're I don't know what I would have done. done if they had not had those products. For me. For him. Well, I, I'll go back to that face cloth. Mm -hmm. When I was in the hospital, I couldn't take baths and stuff. In the morning, she would uh, rinse it out for me, and I could do my face and stuff. It felt like I just had got out of the shower. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah it doesn't. It's yeah. not drying, you know. Like mm -hmm. even when you use, you know, moisture or um, cleansers, mm -hmm. a lot of times, and unless you use the astringent afterwards and then the moisturizer, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel drying. Yeah, you know, it's like you need those other two steps. Right. Is that a makeup remover cloth or just a face cloth? It's a body and face cloth. We have makeup removers, but a lot of people have learned that they like the body and face cloth better than the the makeup removers. Yeah, I do like this because I did Grayson and did that I know Jen, um, your mama bought some for me. I don't remember what it was they got. We have travel size um, body and face cloths. They come in a pack of three, so these are great to put in. Um, you know, when you're traveling or putting in your purse and you know, stuff like that. We also have travel size and fire cloths. I have one in my purse, one in the diaper bag, you know, stuff like that. So it's good to have whenever you go eat. You know, you have a, a menu that you know, tell them who's touched it, you know. Mm -hmm. Wipe it down with the wet travel and fire cloth. And, okay. and the napkins they use today? The neck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I always tell them, like, y'all need to be up under me and help me with you know. It's just, it is it's amazing because all the paper towels, I mean, it's, I think people spend, mm, it's about $600 a year in paper towels. You know, oh, not now. They've gone up so high. Yeah. Yeah. Do that in a week. Yeah. So I don't know if y'all saw, saw those napkin, napkins, you know, beside the plates. Those are great. Um, but then we also have counter. This little set right here is so cute. Oh, that's and you know, if you're not a black, white color in your coat and, and you want to, you know, spray paint it, mm -hmm. I saw where somebody, another consultant, did that. I'm like, why didn't I think about that? You know, because to brighten it up, mm -hmm. you know. So um, the countercloth, this color scheme right here is just what I've just had. 
over the time and just stuck in there. We have like three set color. I think my colors in there are different. Yeah, I think yours are like purple. I think yeah, you have a, I have yeah. the purple one too. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think I have the purple and the blue. So I'm they're the both. size of half sheet paper towel. So this is great for obviously whenever you spill stuff, you know. I, my, actually, Maddie, of all kids, it's always about Maddie. <laughs> she's like, like, poor Maddie. <laughs> there was a, it was a little, a little over half of a bottle of water on the counter and she spilt it. I grabbed one of these and it like soaked. It may have had just a little bit of drop left, so I went and squeezed it out, cleaned it up again, rinsed it out. And then you can hang it over the house to dry and it self purifies itself like the Marifal. So. That's better than a quicker picker upper. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh -huh. yep. So you're saving your, yourself buying all the paper towels and all the trash and everything else. So um, it's just, I mean, we do have a roll. I have a roll of uh, paper towel in um, my house just because I have cats and dogs and goats and everything. Well, I mean, not goats in my house, but I have animals. <laughs> yeah. You so, know, so you don't well, save your kids. Cow you don't have a clean kitten stuff up from with your paw. So, but I mean, that's a roll of paper towels that I'll probably keep in the house for a year. Yeah. You know, we have. See, um, I take the bar paw and write on it, cat. But clean cat stuff with your miracle? A separate one. I don't have a cat. Uh, I said it might be. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we ain't getting a cat. Um, we also do recommend too, like, I mean, if you're like me, you have men in the house. I mean, going to the bathroom. Watch it. <laughs> I know, I'm just saying, you know, y'all know how men are in the bathroom. I've had three you know. boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like four. So, I mean, yeah. you know, no, Paul, get you a separate and dark for the bathroom and then a, mom, a separate for the rest right. of the house. But yeah. then again, we also, I mean, we have all kinds of different things, but we have a bathroom yet too. Mm -hmm. You know, so you can keep it in the bathroom and use it. It works just like that barrel ball, except for it has a scrubby side and then a soft side. I actually used mine this morning. It, it scrubs like the. And I know a lot of y'all don't have little ones, but here lately, the little ones have been here, so we've been bathing. I had forgot how they can dirty mm -hmm. the bathtub. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I totally forgot that. Mm -hmm. Well, I got in there this morning in five minutes, maybe. Yeah, I was waiting to take my bath, my shower. All that scrubbed off with just warm water in my mitt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just this stuff, y'all. I just it just cuts down on time. Yeah, mm -hmm. it does. We have like body care products too. Like I have this balm. I've been actually using this. This is what is great for your feet. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I saw, I showed you pictures. Um, like your heels and stuff are real bad about cracking and getting cut and drying. Um, Marcus has been using it on his elbows and it's been really, it's helping. But I mean, it's great for any kind of skin. You know, if you have young ones that have, not eczema, it's something. It's just like dry patches of skin while babies are getting and stuff. Other stuff, but. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start up here and she can answer any questions, and I'll be there and answer any questions. And she, she'll take your order. I'll take your yeah, order. I brought my computer. If you want to use a card, I can actually enter your um, order in, or if you'd rather just do a check and write it out on the form, that's fine too. Or cash. Or cash, yeah. All right, Julie, so you're going to let it draw. You're going to draw? No, you're going to draw. I did it. We're going to let our spokesperson draw. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Make a good name. She ain't here. Oh, 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 oh. You should have said, did I put my name in here? Look, I told her I was...